All right, I'm back. Just watched the last game in the EU regular season, EU LCS regular season between Fnatic and H2K, where Fnatic once again got absolutely crushed. Like they've been crushed the last four weeks almost. It's been so appalling. It, it's beyond recognition. It's completely FUBA. Yeah, very military term, FUBA. And I got no clue what they're doing. When you're looking at the draft, I'm not sure what is going on. That They're picking comfort champions. And it's so clear that it's out of meta. It's not fitting a certain strategy. It's not a cohesive strategy they're using. They're just trying to get some kind of stability into a team which pretty much sums up the split that there's turmoil internal turmoil within it uh, within the team and a uh, and uh, it's so so clear that, that there's something wrong with spirit the spirit situation since Gamsu and I even though I like Kick as, as an replacement I think he's really good but it's so important that the team works together and it, right now it's every man for himself and the only comp they have been able to at least against G2 show up in any kind of way it was with Kogmar protect reckless composition which is such not a, not a simple comp at all but it's at least one you need to execute and if you're not even trying that one, and if you can't do that, then you're done, done as a team. And right now, Fnatic looks really done. And they look, it, it, I'm really not seeing them going anywhere in this playoff, unless some magic, which people are praying for at the moment. And uh, it, I don't know what they have done with the, the draft. It, Last season, it was okay. It had purpose because the players fit the description of the draft. You had it was much more simple because it had they had an identity which they haven't solved at all in the, these last two splits uh, in 2016. Uh, while last year they had a clear, clear cut plan with at least Huni and Reno, where you knew. That they had at least early game pressure. You kn you knew what what kind of champions they needed, what kind of early game game champions they wanted, and then you could have reckless and yellow star fumbling around on not fumbling around, but just doing their thing in bot lane and not losing. But right now it's just all out of sorts. There's no synergy between any of the members. And Febevin, even though I liked him at Worlds last year, he's been horrendous this split. He's been terrible. Really, really terrible. And it, I know it's between the synergy with mid, where last year he had really good synergy with Reno, and I liked it. But this year it's just not fitting at all with Spirit, even though he's probably the best jungler in EU for himself but not as a team player he's not that great and I think it's really sad to see because I like him and I like his worth ethic and it's clear he's putting more effort into this than the rest of the team and he's at least consistent and I think this stems from some attitude problems from the veterans and I'm not play, blaming Bora or Yellowstar at all even though he's been Really underperforming, underwhelming, as you would like to say. And his champion's pool is just beyond garbage at the moment. He barely could play Tom Kinch, which is unfathomable how you can't play that champion. Which he had, if he could have played that last year at Worlds, Fnatic could have probably gone to the final but he couldn't and I, I don't understand why why but this Braum karma it, 
is just absolutely atrocious to watch. It's not the kind of pick you want in this matter. It's not the, it doesn't fit that many teams except protecting something unless you're bringing lane power. And then he brings Ignite and I'm questioning what then that, 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 why for why would you bring it unless you want lane dominance or you want to disrupt something in the team fight. And it just looks like the the game plan they go into each game with is just so out of sync with the re- reality of the, of the opponent's compositions. It just seems like they're trying so desperately just to have a comp themselves, but it doesn't fit the bill at all. It doesn't fit what the opponents are bringing, and it's not. It's sometimes it's disrespectful, like the last game here with. With, with against H2K with Rice as a last pick. Who on earth are thinking this is going to work? It doesn't make sense at all. I'm not sure what they're thinking. It's just so stupid. It blatantly stupid. You you can't at least when you, when you go Olaf Sevilla against a full engage a, 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 a team that wants to engage but you yourself already got two great imp- components of this and then you don't want to go like something like let's see just on top of my head Lissandra maybe Fnatic haven't played Lissandra for this entire split at all and it would really really help to have some certainty in the champions they are picking you know what you need to do with this kind of composition. Or pick LeBlanc, for fuck man, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> do some pickoffs. You can do it with this comp. And then, then again, <laughs> playing against Shen, you can't kill him that easily. You need at least to gank him in lane to have some kind of pressure. Get T- TP, TF, uh, Twisted Fate or something mid lane. Do something to snowball this because you are at a disadvantage in lane. And you're not going to win it in the long run if you're not going to do something proactive in the early game. And okay, I've seen Fnatic try it, but then it's so clumsy and it's way, way over the top when they're trying to do something proactive. And it then they're getting really nothing out of it because it seems so evident that they got no confident uh, confidence in each other. So they're, they're basically just funneling everything they can bring into, uh, into the kind of proactive place because they're so unsure in each other. And I don't care if you think that I'm trying to be the omniscient guard that knows everything behind the team, but this it's just so obvious that it's, it is happening. And I'm looking at Daylor, and I really don't want to call him out because I think he's a okay to a decent coach, a really good mental coach. He knows what, what is needed, but there's nobody in the team who got the right attitude at the moment. You don't see any of them picking up each other or making it work at the moment it's so passive and it's so it's just making the team fall apart at the scenes and i think for this to to be able to work they need to figure out this situation with spirit and i know they can't replace him but at least at least make a compromise of some sort make him feel given an and just a way to breathe in this team because at the moment he's just doing it trying to hold himself up but the problem is that is not what Fnatic needs at the moment they need him to play with the team it's almost uh, like a, a restaurant just going down downhill and the, the chef the, the main chef the, yeah, the head of the, the, the kitchen are just trying to 
save his own skin, but really what needs to happen is trying to integrate him with the rest of the team. And I think he can speak English at the moment decently enough. I think he's actually a great example of the, the worth ethic he's putting into this. And I think it's just disrespectful if it's the rest of the team who's not putting in the right effort. Because you need to work hard. And I know they're playing the scrims and playing a lot of games. That's not the question. But what are they trying to accomplish with it? Because you can play any as much games as you want. But if you're not trying to accomplish anything with it. If you're not trying to do it as a team. To do what you're practicing, practicing needs to be formulated into something that can fit into your team as a strategy, as a composition of your entirety as a team. And at the moment, I'm just thinking that just doing what needs to be done to save their own skin and not get flamed by anybody. But that's not the right spirit, bad, bad pun. But that... It's just so, so sad to see because it's just taking a, a, yeah, taking a, a turn for a worse, for, la- for, for a lack of a better word. It's, you're just thinking. And then you see Fnatic bringing in the new two analyst thing and it seems like what meta are they studying? Are they looking at any games at all outside? Or is it just because the players are stubborn? Or what is it that makes them not being able to pick an easy champion like Cillian? Not an easy pick. Like Cillian, like Bart, like Lissandra. Uh, Jesus Christ. And then <laughs> just at least have something to put out with simple compositions. It's not that difficult to make some... Uh, I, I think they just need to go back to basic, basics. They, they don't need to do all these kind of random composition that doesn't fit anything. They're just... Sunk, sunk, it's just like they have components of great compositions, but then <laughs> just screw it up in the last rotations. Because, yeah, I know I'm moaning about Sevilla and Kama, but they are great picks, not for the lane, but as a composition. But then, if you know you're not going to do anything in the lane, at least make them work as a team composition. And when I'm butchering it like that at the moment, I'm just feeling terrible, because then it seems evident that both the coach or the players are not acknowledging the fact that they need to go back to basics ASAP and bring some simple synergy back into a team because this ship, ship is taking water and uh, it's capsizing at the moment and uh, really I think somebody needs to take command at the moment and I don't care if they need to be bloodshed uh, sh- uh, bloodshed in the in the bloodshed in this situation because something needs to happen and they're not living up to any kind of standards which is set for a fanatic team in a League of Legends and their history. They're not living up to anything this split. Last split it was acceptable that the synergy wasn't there but this year it's not cutting it. It's not an excuse anymore. It's just appalling. And um I'm sorry for him using that word, but I think it's the last word I have in my vocabulary that isn't just pure, pure yeah, evil. Because I'm trying to keep my decency in this, but it's so hard when you're rooting for a team and they're not showing any kind of decency or respect or balance as a team or anything. And you're just getting so frustrated because you can just see where this is heading. And it could get really ugly quickly if they're not 
sure what they, what direction they're going and at the moment I can't see it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like some feedback on what you think of the situation with Fnatic, current state of them and what you think of my videos. Thank you. Take care. Bye.